In this video, we shall be looking at two very important things to know in order to be able to set up a very successful local area network for either data or internet sharing for your devices at your home or office. So let's get into it. Let's take for instance, if we want to establish a local area network between this computer and this IP camera, whereby they would be able to communicate to the extent that the IP camera can be viewed on the computer, which is a communication, there must first be a physical connection between the IP camera and the computer. Or at most, you can establish a wireless connection between the camera and the computer. And that is what I'm talking about as the first requirement for a local area network. Through a network switch like the one I have here, I can establish a physical connection between the computer and the camera. And that can be done by just using a network cable connected to the camera and then connecting the same network cable from the camera into the network switch, into any port on the network switch. So in the same way too, because we are connecting the camera and the network switch, or we are connecting the camera and the computer together physically, I can as well connect a cable from the computer and then connect the same cable to the same network switch I connected the camera to. So once I do that, I have established a physical connection between the network camera and the computer. And that physical connection has been done through the network switch. A next requirement for establishing a local area network is to have IP addresses assigned to the devices on the local area network. So for my illustration here, the camera needs to be assigned an IP address and the computer also has to be assigned an IP address in a manner that puts them in a local area network. This particular camera has been given an IP address from factory and that IP address has been boldly written on it. As you can see here, there is an IP address on the camera, which is 192.168.1.86, which is the IP address of the camera already. So what we need to do is to concentrate on the computer and also assign it an IP address in this manner, whereby the first three digits of this IP address here, what I mean by the first three digits, I I'm referring to 192 as one digit, 168 as one digit, and then the dot one also, also as one digit. So in assigning the IP address to the computer, it should take the first three digits of the IP camera, which will make them to be on the same local area network. But the last digit, which is the unique ID of the device, for example, the unique ID of this camera over this local area network will be the 86. But the first three digits would be the local area network for the, the whole network. So let's go to the computer and you see how I will assign the IP address, taking note of the one I have on the camera. On the computer, I will want to assess the network adapter settings of my computer since we have connected the network switch through the ethernet port so i will assess the control panel of my computer and i will under network and internet i'll open and i'll then come to change adapter settings so i'll tap on this one so at this point i will try i will right click on ethernet we are not using Wi-Fi. We are not using the connection through Wi-Fi. So I'll come down. To, I'll come to this point, the Ethernet. I'll right click and assess properties. So I'll open properties. So this is where we are looking at the Ethernet properties by right clicking. So we would have to come down to Internet Protocol version 4, TCP stroke IPv4. So double click on it. And this is what we have. This is what we are looking at. So um, the first option is to obtain an IP address automatically. We are not interested in that. 
we want to use the following IP address as we have here. So the IP address that is already here is 192.168.1.204. When we consider this kind of IP address, I think it is usable since the IP address on the camera is, um, let me show you the IP address of the camera. The IP address on the camera is 192.168.1.86. And we still have the same structure. The first three digits of the IP address on the camera is the same as that of the uh, the one on the computer. The 86 is for the camera and the, the computer is given 204. So this is a good local area network IP address. But in an instance where maybe the first three digits are not the same, that's when you would have to carry out changes to ensure that the first three digits of the IP address of the computer is the same as that of the camera to have the two devices communicate. So now that it is like this, we can just choose OK. OK. And then we are sure that the camera and the computer are on the same local area network. We can use command prompt to do a ping to see if we will have a response from the, the camera. So we can open the command prompt. Uh, in any case, if you want to access the command prompt, you can as well search for CMD. CMD. That will also give you access to the command prompt. So you can open it up, the command prompt. And um, so from there, you can just uh, ping. Uh, the IP address of the IP camera is 192.168.1.86. Once we press on enter, you will see that the, there will be response. We can see, you can see pinging 192.168.1.86 with 32 bytes of data. You see that there is a reply. There is a reply that has come true, which means that and the, the ping statistics have been given here. Packet sent is 4. Received packet is 4. There is no lost data, which means that there is effective communication or ability to share or communicate from the camera to the computer. So we have successfully established a local area network between the camera and the computer. So this is, in fact, the two key requirements for setting up a local real network. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you find value in this video, please give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet subscribed. Thank you so much for watching once again. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.